Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. Today is on the 2nd of May 2023. Now, today we are giving you another news from the contraption called Nigeria because it's a contraption, the way people call it. Nigeria is sending a cargo plane to go and be evacuating their people from uh, Egypt and uh, South Sudan. Why other countries, United Kingdom, France, uh, United States, they send even private jet or even a, a business class, first class to their citizen to evacuate them from that um, country. But Nigeria is sending a cargo plane. I'm going to drop this video on this uh, very, very um, voice note. You will see the video, you will watch the video. And at the same time, there's still another video in there too because it's going to be about uh, two videos there. One of the video is um, from um, a country called Sudan where they left so a lot of people stranded in some areas and uh, also the people are finding it difficult to get out of the place even to bath to even eat nothing why nigeria is sending a cargo plane to go and be collecting its citizen from a country that is boiling this is a uh, that is the reason why people call nigeria zoo then nigeria people will be angry how can you send a cargo plane to go and be getting your people, evacuating your people? And it's even too late. If 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 the wars were to come at that time, would have been too, too late at this time now. How many people are you going to evacuate? When they were saying this in the news that people uh, need to be evacuated to safety, but Nigerians, Nigerian government... They did not pay um, good ear to that. They just left it blank. Pay the deaf ear to something that is important. It maybe is because their family member is not there because all their family member they live in abroad in the Europe and so Africa. Anybody that is Africa can suffer anyhow they want to suffer. This is very very bad. Look at the um, picture. This very picture. The cargo plane took these uh, officers to go and be evacuating people. How many of them are dead? They are up to about 15. Where, if they want to evacuate people at all, where are those people going to sit on? Why this one? Because these people will not stand. You will see inside the plane, inside the aircraft, you see how empty it is. There is no even seat for people to sit. So people are going to be hanging on the on the wall of the of the plane or on the, on the on the floor sitting on the floor look at them you can see they're moving all the whole things they're putting everything inside you will see inside the plane very very pathetic a country that is that value animal more than a human being a country that you say the truth then they will be looking after you to come to arrest you. A country of uh, of lie. This is so pathetic. Look, look at the inside. Look at inside the plane. Not no seat there. The only seat there are those red ones. Those are the seats that the officers that follow the the plane. That that's where they are going to sit. So how many people are, are going to um, enter this uh, this aircraft? That looks like a a dustbin. Look, oh my goodness! That's the that's the reason why they call this country a zoo. Nigeria is a zoo. You see, one of the things is if you even go and type it, it's not me. It's not me that said it. If you go and type it on a, on a Google, which country in Africa is referred to as a zoo? It will tell you straight away it's Nigeria that they refer that they refer to as a zoo in Africa. This is so pathetic. USA, British, they've removed all their citizens from there. 
for to safety. But Nigeria refused. Instead, they'll be doing some things that is, they're not meant to be doing. Look at this, the guy now that is they stranded. Um, if you cannot understand what they are saying, he's speaking Igbo. That they are stranded. Even in some places where um, they got the airbus um, um, to airbus to evacuate people. The, the Egyptian people didn't let them enter the country because he said they want a visa. This is um, an emergency situation. Why are they asking for visa to evacuate people, to, for people to enter their country? Which is not very good at all. This man is crying. Uh, they are all stranded. You can see them standing. Some are sitting down. They are stranded where they are now. It looks like he's uh, in the middle of nowhere. See, this is a main road that is quiet, empty, and I believe they are still there in, a, in a Sudan. Look at everyone sitting helplessly. And uh, uh, this very one as well, these are the, our, our people that are in jail in most of the countries. They are sitting down on the floor. They are being maltreated anyhow they want. They are being maltreated. The, the, the government of Nigeria doesn't care about them. If the country were to be a good country, these people will not want to go out. You know, they just went out because the country is so frustrating. They went out to, for a greener pastor. But at the, at, the, at the moment now, they are being in prison. Some people that have, uh, that has family over there, they will think their family are abroad, they are enjoying. Look at where they are. Look at every, everybody there. More than 150 people inside this place. But Nigeria government, they steal money. Now nobody says anything. If you say you want to advocate for your freedom so that you can be free, you say they will be calling you names. If you say you don't like the way the system of Nigeria, they will say, oh, you must like it. It's either you like it or not. You must stay there. Your your friends are, 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 are agitating to leave the country peacefully, but they don't want to. Well, thank you for watching. If today is your first time, please do us a favor, subscribe, share, also comment, and let us know what you think about this very, very uh, video or news that has just come now this morning. This is GMTV. Thank you for watching. And uh, remain blessed also. Bye for now.